Yo, what's up, guys, and welcome to posting fucked up shit on Reddit that's made up. Let's go. Yo, what's up, guys, and today we got something special. We're gonna write... Bruh. Something special. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what's up, guys, and today we got something special. Bruh, what something the special, bruh. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna touch you <laughs> in your special place. All right, uh, I'll create a post on r slash advice. All right, we need a, we need a story. We need a... Uh, compelling something like fucked up that actually <laughs> could happen though or we could do i came in my cousin's panties <laughs> and now she's pregnant yes. and i don't know if the kid is mine yes. type shit you know <laughs> yes, yes all right so the title is gonna be i came in Relatable. my cousin's panties <laughs> and now she's pregnant <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I took them and <laughs> splurted <laughs> by <laughs> tummies. <laughs> <No. laughs> oh my god. I'm not proud of what I'm about to say. However, All right, so let's read the whole thing. I came in my cousin's panties, and now she is pregnant. My cousin, female 18, slept over at a house about a month ago. I, male 22, found my cousin's panties in the morning in the guest room. For your information, my cousin is, like, really hot, to me at least. I'm not proud of what I'm about to say. However, while she was downstairs eating breakfast, I took her panties to my room and used them to jerk my wiener. It just really got me going. I then busted all over them and put them back where I found them. I didn't think much of it until she announced to the family yesterday that she is pregnant. I then overheard my parents talking about how she claims there can't possibly be a father since she isn't sexually active. Now I'm worried I might have fathered a child from jerking onto my cousin's panties. I am really scared and don't know if I should tell her or just sweep it under the rug. Is it even possible that she can get pregnant from that? All right. Bro, I fucking can't wait for the fucking reactions. Oh my fucking God. Should I post it? Yeah, post it. It's posted. <laughs> it's out there, bro. It's <laughs> out there. Sorry, this post has been removed by the moderators of r slash advice. Right, I posted it again. You have been banned from contributing to this community. Post yours on ethics. r slash ethics. I came in my cousin's panties and now she's pregnant. <laughs> yes, sir. I see it. R slash. Let's do. Let's do some fucked up relationship things. R slash relationship advice. Should we write like um that my girlfriend uh and I tried pegging <laughs> and it was too extreme for me and I shit on the bed. <laughs> now she wants to break up with you. Yeah. Now she's disgusted. Because she had yeah, shit all that. over her. Do that, do that, do all that. All right. I, 22M, and my girlfriend, 21F, tried pegging, and I shit the bed. <laughs> and I shit on the bed. <laughs> do the British person type and shat on the bed. I shat on the bed. <laughs> 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 I, 22M, and my girlfriend, 21F, tried pegging, and I shed on the bed. <laughs> my girlfriend, 21F, was always interested in trying pe pegging. I, 22M, was hesitant at first, but after a couple of weeks, <laughs> I, I, but after a couple weeks of thinking about it, I agreed to try it for her. I didn't know I had to prepare before doing it, and that later backfired. Literally. The night, we, <laughs> the night we tried it three days ago, I didn't enjoy it very much at first, but I soon started to embrace it. It constantly felt like I had to ship, but I thought that was normal and eventually didn't try to hold it back anymore. Once I did that, it felt even better until she pulled the strap on out. It wasn't the only thing that came out. Once she pulled it out, a lot of feces came out too. <laughs> but it didn't just fall out. It had some pressure to it and ended up all over the bed and my girlfriend. She froze for a second and then looked at me with the most disgusted face I've ever seen. She then started gagging and ran out of the room. Ever since then, she hasn't talked to me at all and just ignored me completely. 
I'm really scared that she will leave me because of what happened. I really need her and she's all I have. <laughs> does anyone have advice on how mo- <clears throat> how I move forward with this? How can I talk to her again if she doesn't want to? And the TLDR is I-22M and my girlfriend turned around and tried pegging. And I shed on the bed. <laughs> I shed on the bed and her once she pulled out the strap on and now she doesn't talk to me anymore. Post it, post it, post it. Let's go. Posting it. Let's post it. Let's go on r slash help me. I keep thinking about touching someone in an elevator. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's good. That's good. That's good. I once (laughs) saw a video. (laughs) Nah. Nah. I once saw a video of two people (laughs) doing the deed. Two men. Two men. (laughs) Why? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> What's the doing the deed in an elevator I am caught. I, it got so bad that every time someone is in an elevator with me i think to myself i'm gonna touch you <laughs> i said let him come i keep thinking about touching someone in an elevator i once saw a video of two men doing the deed in an elevator it really turned me on Ever since I saw that, I want to experience it myself. At first, it was a subtle urge, but it became stronger and stronger over time. It has gotten so bad that every time someone is in an elevator with me, I think to myself, I'm going to touch you. I really have to hold myself back so I don't commit a felony. I even get hard just seeing an elevator. I don't know if I developed a being attracted to things fetish or if it is deeper and I actually want to touch someone in an elevator. I don't know how long I can hold myself back for. Maybe it's just a phase or should I seek professional help? All right, I think that's good, right? Yeah, that's good. Oh, Send that it. Shit. Fuck it. Send this shit out, bro. All right, guys, we uh, wrote the posts. We're the... going to let it sit for a day or two. I'm, I'm going to uh, just read you the titles of the posts that we wrote again. I keep thinking about touching someone in an elevator. <laughs> I and my girlfriend <laughs> tried pegging and I shat on the bed. I came in my cousin's panties and now she's pregnant. All right, guys, we'll check back in a couple of days and review all the comments that we get on these posts. See ya. It is the next day, ladies and gentlemen, and we're about to hop on Reddit and look what sort of comments we got and how the posts performed. We haven't looked at it yet, so it's going to be a live reaction. However, I was scrolling through Instagram today and I saw that one guy on Instagram posted One of my posts that I posted on Reddit, on Instagram. So yeah, it probably got a bit more attention, but we're about to see. I have 312 (laughs) karma. I had one, one when we started. Are you ready? I'm ready. It got 241 (laughs) comments and 407 (laughs) upvotes. And it got like fucking 100k views on Insta. Yay! Always baffles me when people try butt play and are surprised when shit happens. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> Considering. <laughs> oh, peace on. <laughs> this is fucking legendary. Considering oh OP's only posts are I came in my cousin's panties and now she's pregnant and I keep thinking about touching someone in an elevator. <laughs> I seriously doubt this post is real. <sighs> yeah, this is on her, lol. Both of you should have done more research. But the, oh but the onus is on the pegger, not the peg. <laughs> okay. OP's driven for... Requesting pegging just to do this. <laughs> just, why am I OP? What? I would love to peg sentence. my husband. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to go into this knowing and cool with the possibilities. She's a shit person. <laughs> Literally a shit person now. <laughs> don't play in the mud if you don't want to get dirty. <laughs> That's a dick move and immature. Yeah. Motherfucker actually gave you advice. Bro, these people actually give advice to somebody who posted this shit clearly to troll. <laughs> Who has two other things posted oh about touching someone in an elevator <laughs> and fucking coming in the panties? Oh of my the- god! I got three hundred and twelve oh karma from this, bro. It's insane. Oh, fuck! Oh my god! I remember prepping myself for anal play. 
but having had taken some molly and speed, what the fuck? I unfortunately had some brown speckles and stained my boyfriend's bed. Why would you? Why would you take? Is that how you prep for anal taking molly and speed? What the? Fuck? <laughs> All right. Next up, we're looking at the comments for the. I keep thinking about touching someone in an elevator post. <laughs> Seek professional help. If you feel out of control, get professional help. <laughs> Next up. Oh, this one has been removed as well. <laughs> I came in because it's Patty's and now she's pregnant. You're good. This is 100% ethical. All right, this guy did that before. She should... What the fuck? Wait, you're obviously a thought leader. And so it's a higher quality baby than she could have attained through traditional means. She should pay you. <laughs> But it's probably more ethical to keep it an anonymous donation. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Because <laughs> what, as Epictetus Epic, said, don't start none, won't be none. <laughs> Sweep that shit under the papyrus map and we're gravy. All right, guys, that was the reactions we got. Unfortunately, the, the uh, shitting on the bed one was removed. <laughs> But it is on Instagram and it will forever be on Instagram. I will link the Instagram video in the description so, so you can go check it out. Next up, we're going to do AI generated crazy stories and post them. But we're probably, we probably need to make a new account because we've got to be, yeah. yeah, I think we're banned from like all of the subreddits that we posted on. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Mwah. Hi, 22M, and my GF, 21F, tried pegging and I shat on the bed. My GF, 21F, was always interested in trying pegging. I, 22M, was hesitant at first but after a couple weeks of thinking about it I agreed to try it for her. I didn't know I had to prepare before doing it, and that later backfired, literally. The night we tried it, three days ago, I didn't enjoy it very much at first but I soon started to embrace it. It constantly felt like I had to shit but I thought that was normal, and eventually didn't try to hold it back anymore. Once I did that it felt even better until she pulled the strap on out. It wasn't the only thing that came out. Once she had pulled it out a lot of feces came out too, but it didn't just fall out, it had some pressure to it, and ended up all over the bed in my GF. She froze for a second and then looked at me with the most disgusted face I have ever seen. She then started gagging and ran out of the room. Ever since then she hasn't talked to me at all, and just ignored me completely. I am really scared that she will leave me because of what happened. I really need her, she is all I have. Does anyone have advice on how I move forward with this? How can I talk to her again if she doesn't want to? 